A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Again, Jesus left the district of Tyre and went by the way of Sidon to the Sea of Galilee into the district of the Decapolis. And people brought to him a deaf man who had a speech impediment and begged him to lay his hand on him. He took him off by himself away from the crowd. He put his hands into the finger and his finger into the deaf man's ear. And spitting, touched his tongue. And he looked up to heaven and groaned and said to him, Ephratatah, that is, be opened. And immediately the man's ears were opened. His speech impediment was removed. And he spoke plainly. He ordered them not to tell anyone but the more he ordered them not to, the more they proclaimed it. They were exceedingly astonished, and they said, He has done all things well. He makes the deaf hear, and the mute speak. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. There was a man who was in his 80s, who was deaf. Did not hear very well. When his family would have conversations, he really missed all of the parts of the conversations. The family knew it. They felt bad about it. So one day he goes to the audiologist, and this doctor was able to make him be able to hear almost perfectly. About a week later, he came back to the audiologist and said, how are things going? He says, oh, I can hear things great. And the doctor says, well, your family must be really excited. He says, oh, they don't know about it. <laughs> <laughs> but I changed my will three times. This weekend we celebrate Labor Day. Celebrate the fact that we all labored hard and the people around us have labored hard. And it's time to take a break and give thanks for that. But as Christians, there's something else that we're called to maybe on this weekend. We're called to a place of reflection. We are all called as workers in the vineyard of the Lord, every single one of us. So as the gospel goes today, Jesus heals the man of his deafness and his speech impediment. Where are we deaf? To the cries of the poor around us. Where am I not speaking the joy of the Lord to those I meet? Am I spending too much time complaining about the way things are? Am I more negative than positive? The Lord should be on my lips always. I know I have difficulty with it at times. There are things that I'd love to complain about, but... In reality, we have to ask the Lord's healing for us. This man that he healed is us. At times, we are deaf to those around us. There was, several years ago, I spent time in New York City in Times Square. It's when Times Square was not the place it is today. It was a place where it was the highest crime rate in the country very dangerous place. It was also the theater district as it is today. Every Wednesday, people would come to the theater to watch their shows, their favorite shows. And in this area, there were a large number of homeless people, a large number of poor people that were laying along the streets as people came in. 
People in their fancy clothes, their furs, their jewelry, walking right past these people, not recognizing them, not seeing them, not hearing their cries, in a sense, missing totally the opportunity to meet Christ. In our world today, we have those people in front of us. And part of our sight also needs to be healed. What are we missing? What are the things that we have to ask God for our healing in? If we go to, say, Walmart, and we watch the cashiers at work, especially on a busy day, stand back and watch. How many people do you hear being rude to them? Or being horrible? You see, today we live in a society where we think it's our right to complain. It's our right to be mean to another person. If that's the case, what do we do about that? Well, the words coming from our mouth when we meet that cashier should be life-giving, not life-destroying. So where do we need that healing? Where do we need that vision? Where do we need our mouth to be healed, our ears to be healed? When we meet someone who is downtrodden, are we very quick to give advice, but not to listen to really what's going on with the person? God gave me two ears and one mouth so that I should be listening twice as much as I speak. So on this Labor Day, we have to ask ourselves the question, where do we need the healing to be better workers in the vineyard of the Lord?